Welcome to this brief presentation about how AFI Inspector powers your data subject access request workflows. In this video, you will gain an understanding of how to use AFI Inspector to handle these requests efficiently while reducing the inherent risk of noncompliance. A data subject access request, known as a DSAR, is a written request made by an employee to their employer for information. All employees can make these requests, and they are usually part of a grievance, disciplinary action, or pending litigation. These requests may include confirmation about whether any personal data is being processed about the employee, a description of the personal data, the reasons it's being processed, and whether it will be given to any other organizations or people, copies of information comprising the data, and details of the source of the data where it's available. These requests are tedious for an organization and bring with them a high amount of risk if they are not properly handled. With AFI Inspector, you can quickly and efficiently determine what information a company may have regarding an employee and what is contained in that data. AFI Inspector provides immediate insight through its entity extraction features. By simply applying Inspector to a set of documents, you will learn which files relate to the data subject, the prevalence of personal information or PII in those documents, if any other sensitive information appears in the documents like privilege or another employee's PII, and what information must be reported as part of the DSAR. Applying Inspector helps to dramatically reduce the cost and risk through proactive identification of key entities, such as persons, terms, and over 200 different types of PII. AFI's simple process quickly allows a user to select the relevant data set, apply Inspector's powerful analytics, retrieve instant entity extraction, leverage those entities to supercharge review encoding, and generate clear and thorough reporting of that data set. Here's how we do that. The process starts in the AFI Inspector tab. Using the predictive search bar, enter the name variations used for the data subject with the OR connector between each variation. Include nicknames, common misspellings, and other non-standard formats that might be used to refer to the data subject. Run the search and check the number of results. You can further reduce this number by applying junk exclusions. Remember that a DSAR request is about an employee's personal data and doesn't necessarily extend to all documents in a collection. That means that you can reduce the number of documents you have to handle by removing those files that do not meet the criteria, i.e. junk. To apply a junk filter, first browse the extraction types to identify likely junk content. Here we see there are quite a few documents where LinkedIn is an organization extraction. These documents are auto-generated by LinkedIn and not applicable to the DSAR request. Select the junk organization and choose Exclude to remove those results. You can also leverage AP Structured Analytics to cull the population down even further. Simple slider bars allow you to remove lesser inclusive emails as well as near duplicates from your review should you choose those options. You'll see after we exclude the junk organization, as well as redundant content, our total number of documents for review has dropped dramatically. Once you are satisfied with the review population, apply a tag to those documents so that you can readily access them again through both the Inspector tab as well as Relativity. To access the documents in Relativity, simply create a new search that points to the tag you just made. Once you've isolated the documents in your population, you can begin review. Here, we've created a coding panel that allows for application of the full range of decisions during review and displays how you may leverage AFI's extractions to build efficiency into the process. For each document, a reviewer will make a few decisions. First, a relevancy determination is required. Is this document relevant to the DSAR? If it is, then the next step is to determine the topic of that document. A reviewer must also determine if the document has any sensitive information, like privilege, or the private information of another employee. When these issues are present, they should be noted in the coding panel as well. Here, we can not only leverage AFI's PII and person extractions to apply review supporting highlighting, but we can also use the terms extractions to apply the topic and description coding. With a simple copy and paste, the reviewer can save time and limit the risk inherent in freeform text entries. When the document is fully reviewed, we move to the next document and apply the same coding assessment. 
Inspectors' powerful extractions also provide ways to mass code documents to speed up review and ensure consistency across the population. Here we have identified a credit card number that belongs to the data subject. Rather than wait to come across this number again, we can move back out to the document list and filter for the exact value in the corresponding AFI field. Once all relevant documents are returned, it's an easy step to apply mass edits to denote that the other documents contain this information as well. You can use this function with any AFI extraction, making the process simple and efficient. When review is complete, a report can be exported, combining the review team's work product alongside inspector's extractions. Ensure that your work product fields, as well as the pertinent inspector fields, are visible in your search results. The inspector fields are those that begin with A underscore. Then, simply filter on the population marked as responsive to the DSAR and export the results to a CSV file. You can provide this report to your client alongside any production that must be made. This video was an illustration of just one of many ways you can apply AFI Inspector to your DSAR workflows. Inspector's extractions empower your incident response team, protect you from fines, and let you focus on your core business rather than being interrupted every time a DSAR request comes in. If you'd like to hear more, click the link below.